Hello and welcome to this channel. I'm Ornus and today I will review the I don't even know uh, the second studio album by the pop punk band Paramore. Yeah, I said actually I believe uh, a month ago or something when whenever I reacted to the top ten Paramore songs, uh, I said to my fans I don't mind if Paranor. Paramore. Paramore gets requested because I actually like the band. Uh, you know, outside of Green Day, they're pretty much the only pop punk band I can stand, honestly. Uh, although not amazing, I don't, I don't think you know, you know they're they're one of the greats or something. But they're still a good band, I think. They're still pretty solid for what they are. You know, especially for a pop punk band. Their lead chick is uh, you know fit as fuck, so can't fuck with that or <laughs> fuck no. Um, yeah, so this album it's 38 minutes long. It has four singles, uh, 11 tracks. Yeah, there we go, 11 tracks. Uh, the first track is for a pessimist. I'm pretty optimistic. Pretty funny opening song. Uh, pretty funny title too. It just kind of you know opens up the album by the band saying that you know we're serious, but we're not you know over seriously. We're we can still joke around. This is a good opening track, I think. You know, pretty solid, pretty Paramore-ish. You know, if you know what Paramore sounds like, then well, you know, this song is for you. Or you know, this song, you can pretty much uh, you know figure out the song on your own. And then we get that's what you get. Very catchy track, especially how Haley Williams says the the the, the 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 title. You know, just perfectly implemented into the uh, album. I really love, you know, uh, the melodies and just how, how this style gets implemented into the chorus or, you know, the, the song itself. It's just very catchy, very uplifting too. The uh, song works for me, you know, so it's, uh, I believe it was one of the singles. So, uh, you know, this song just work, works for me. So, you know, not anything to complain about there. And then we get Hallelujah, which is more of a old school kind of stripped down kind of vibe song. Uh, yeah, pretty good. Um, yeah, it's it's pretty you know pretty uh, meat and potatoes kind of song. Uh, it, it's still pop punky, but it's more in into a more alternative rock style, which I uh, also enjoy by the band. You know, um, that, that's probably why I don't fully hate Paramore because uh, or hate at all. Because they're also alternative, they, they also, you know, implement some poppy side and some alternative sides, you know, which I enjoy. That's probably why I don't hate Paramore, you know, unlike some other popping band, which are just fucking garbage. So, good track. Uh, yeah, then, then we get, of course, to pretty much the most famous Paramore song ever, I'm pretty sure. It's so famous, Paramore doesn't even want to play it. <laughs> Um, I've heard, I don't, I don't know. Uh, misery, misery business. Uh, yeah, of course, this is pretty much the only song that I can, you know, sing. Uh, whoa, da, 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 da. <laughs> uh, what I got? I fucking on. Well, uh, what I got it? Yeah, I got it now. I, I cannot sing for shit. Well, yeah, I do. The only song I remember or can him belong to. Yeah. Uh, you know, because I didn't forget the whole album, but it's just the only song that I can hum at the moment. Just a very uh, memorable track, three and a half minutes long. Just a very catchy hook. The riffs are great, you know. Just a very, uh, you know, unforgettable riff on there. Just very captivating. A great title to Misery Business. It just sounds funny. Uh, you know, it sounds like, you know, you're whining so much, you can almost make a business out of it, you know, kind of uh, speaking out about, you know, them bitches, if you know what I mean. Or, you know, you, you know not bitches per se, but uh, just people in general, you know, uh, boys can be like that too, so there we go. Then we get When It Rains, this is a very mellow track, I really enjoy the, the songwriting by Hayley Williams and Joss Farrow. And Zach Farrow, which is, I believe the brother of Joss Farrow, I don't know. Uh, yeah, this is just a very mellow track. I really enjoy the diversity of this album. It's just very diverse so far. Uh, it's just very melodic. Although Paramount would perfect this kind of style on their uh, on their next album. You know, if you've seen my top ten reaction, then you know which song I'm talking about. But this is still a very like you know OG kind of uh, kind of merit to it. It's still a very you know good uh, you know. Uh, 
niet. Uh, prequel, uh, I suppose. You know, I was looking for a word, so there we go. Uh, then we get Let the Flames Begin. Uh, this is a very fiery song, it's very, you know, on fire, it's just very, you know, you know, can, can, can I think of more fire puns? I don't know. Um, yeah, overall this song is good, but it's a little bit on the bland side, I would say. It's, it's not bad by any means, but it's it's kind of like, you know, it's typical, it's your typical Paramore song. Uh, yeah, so there's, there's not a lot to say. It's still good though, it's still a good track, but, you know. Didn't reduce me. Uh, then we get Miracle, which is a very unique song. Uh, it is unique as some place, you know, it is unique as in, um, you know, what's the thing? Um, it, 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 it is unique because, yeah, you know, it just sounds kind of other, otherworldly, but at the same time, it sounds the same like any other Paramore song. Uh, so overall, it's kind of, you know, a divisive song for me. You know, it's still good, but it didn't reduce for me, honestly. And then we get Crush, Crush, Crush. Uh, yeah, this is, I believe, a big hit by the band, three minutes long. It's, it's pretty typical, it's very catchy, you know, it's kind of like a misery business part two, you know, whereas the sequel is kind of less good, which is Crush, Crush, Crush too. Uh, fucking hell, I tried to say that to 10 times in a row, fucking hell. Oh uh, yeah, so overall this is a good track, but I don't think, you know, well, yeah, it's still one of the highlights of the album, but, you know, it doesn't beat out misery business, which is... Pretty much, you know, the, the biggest hit by the band ever, so there we go. Uh, then we get the last three tracks, which is still good, but I don't think, you know, they match up to the first side. We get We Are Broken, which is pretty typical, Paramore, uh, written by Hayley Williams, um, Josh Farrow and David Bendit. I don't know who that is, but whatever. He's probably like the drummer or something. Um, yeah, so overall, you know, it's just kind of... It's just a paramour, you know, it's just middle of the road for me, it's just... Uh, it's pretty typical, it's pretty normal, so I don't, I can't really explain it, you know, it's kind of like Let the Flames Begin Again. And this is probably the most traditional song on it so far, you know, the most average track, so... I uh, didn't really get a lot out of it, so, but uh, there we go. Then we got Fences, which is a very powerful track. Uh, yeah, you know, overall this is a very... Like storming track, you know, the fences, uh, try to climb over them, you know, try to fight the power and all this, all this shit. Uh, this is a very powerful track, you know, the, the vocals, the lyrics, uh, just, you know, the fences overall. Just everything about the song is pretty, you know, kick-ass, you know, just kind of standing up for yourself and, you know, good messages like that, so I enjoyed it. Um, and then we get Born For This, which is a pretty good closing track, you know, it does kind of mix some poppy elements with the more typical pop punk kind of style of the band, which I enjoy. It's a good overall closing track overall and a good uh, summarization for the album. So overall this is a very uh, good album I would say. It's, uh, it's not amazing by any means, but it's still pretty solid. Uh, yeah, definitely favorite tracks, you know, the, the first side is pretty much, you know, great and the second side is a bit weaker, but still pretty good. So I enjoyed this album, although it did sound a little bit too samey for me, but it's still, you know, you know, it still has a good song, so it still was pretty consistent. So I'm going to give this album an 8 out of 10. Uh, yeah, pretty good. I'm, uh, well, not per se excited, but I am, uh, I'm, fuck it. I'm just going to listen to Brand New Eyes now. I'm, I'm a little excited, I would say. I'm a little excited to check out Brand New Eyes. To check if it, if, if it is better than Riot, I don't know. So I'm going to check that out. Uh, thank you for watching this video. Let me know what you think about this album in the comments down below. Like or subscribe to the channel if you did like this one. Uh, what do you think of Paramore? Love them, hate them? Uh, let me know in the comments. What do you think about them? Uh, what do you think about Riot, Misery Business, all of that stuff? What are your favorite Paramore songs? Uh, yeah, all, all of the good stuff. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.